Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Paul Tuma today is so fire in Busia. Paul Tuma was humiliated, was heckled, and was booed right in front of Raila Amul Odinga. And Paul Tuma could not even manage to address the very people who just a few months ago voted for him overwhelmingly. For those who follow the politics of this country closely, Raila Odinga today embarked on a nine day tour, consultative tour of the entire country. That tour began with Bosia today. Tomorrow, Raila Odinga will be in Vihiga. But the scenes from Bosia actually shocked me. <laughs> Now that was Malaba and the scenes were almost similar because Relo Dinga was in uh, Teso, the same, he was in Malaba, the same, and Relo Dinga ended the rally in Musia town. I want you guys to pay very close attention to what's happening to Polo Toma, especially at this particular point in Busia, because that's where he's based. Ah, wenzangu, wasalimu nyinyi. Mimi ndakuja kusema bye bye. Hello, hello, hello. Now, na muku na na muku na na sira na na gavana. Nitaonge na e, nitaonge na e. Sasa, la wanita rudisha ni habari. Sasa. So in this video, I want to reveal to you guys why Busia residents are bitter and angry with Polo Toma and they don't want anything to do with him. The truth of the matter is that ahead of this rally, Polo Tuma tried so hard to take charge of the program. He even printed ODM banners, banners of Polo Tuma and Relo Dinga just to cool down the temperatures. But the residents did not want to hear anything from him. But before we get into all those, in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two. Click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, why do you think the residents of Busia did not want to hear anything to do with the Polo Tuma? Number one, Polo Tuma betrayed the residents of Busia. They believe so. Because they voted for Polo Tuma as ODM governor in 2022. And they voted for him overwhelmingly. Because remember, Polo Tuma even contested in 2017 as independent candidate. They never voted for him. Then he decided to come to ODM party. The voters there voted for him. Then the first thing he did after the election was to go and side with the Kenya Kwanza government. Busia County it's one of Raila Odinga's strongholds. It's one of Raila Odinga's bedrooms. 
The truth of the matter is that after the last election, and I've been saying it many times, he focused on winning the support of four counties, particularly the governors of those counties. He focused on Kakamega, Fernandez Baraza, and you can see whatever is happening there. William Ruto then focused on Busia. He actually managed to win the support of Polo Tuma. William Ruto then focused on Mombasa. He managed to win the support of uh, the governor for Mombasa and even Simba Arati. But of course, because William Ruto will tell you this, he will promise this, he never deliver, the ground started becoming hostile to those people. For Busia people, they will never forgive Polo Tuma easily. Listen to Polo Tuma addressing William Ruto when William Ruto was in the area. As yes, Andika, you are Tiote. They are good, but we must think beyond the box. Si hiko na mnaio vijana? Atuwezi endelea tu na hiyo. Na hii western, lazima pia sisi tujipange kisiasa. Because politics is about people and economic empowerment ya watu. Sijuisi tunafanya siyasa ya mapenzi, ya kutongozana, ama tunafanya siyasa ya kusaidia watu wetu. Because siyasa si ni kuangalia maisha ya watu. So si tujipange. Eh? <laughs> Waluke umeongea hapa. Nimeona pia umeongea kakitu hapo umeshika. Unajua mimi nilishika kitambo na nimejipanga. Unajua busia imekuwa chini, lakini tunajipa, tunajipanga. Lakini hata hapa Bungoma. But if we come together, we are going to make a big change in this country. We are going to contribute to this transformative agenda. Na hii watu wetu watabadilika. And I think his excellency the president means well hapo tusidanganyane siasa ni kando tu but the current president of the republic of kenya means well for this country william samoi ruto that is the truth and he's hard working anatembea kila mahali na ni vitu tu ya kuzungumza hiyo maendeleo so even hata wale ndugu zangu bado wanafikiria ati bado tuko siasa siasa na watu wetu wanaumia siasa itakuja tu na tutafanya but for now, those of us who have been elected, let us do something to transform the lives of our people. Na oo kio mechaguliwa kiongozi, uko na mamulaka kutoka kwa raia. Sijui tena unaangalianga nyuma kwa mugongo, unaangalia nani tena. Na uko na mandate kutoka kwa watu. The second reason why these guys have been waiting for Polo Tuma is because of his role during Azimio demonstrations. You see, there are so many governors who are not willing to join Azimio demonstrations. One of them is the governor for uh, Mombasa. Even Simba Rati was not part of it. He joined just later. But the truth is, Polo Toma fully participated in that demonstrations, but not in support of ODM supporters. He participated by organizing goons to fight those who were demonstrating. You all remember, remember the day Wycliffe Ambeto Paranya's vehicle was chased and was, I think it was, it must, it must have been arrested by the police from Busia. That was the work of Utuma. So these guys were waiting for him because the police really meted brutality on the residents of Busia. So they've been waiting for Polo Tuma. And someone was telling me that they said they, they, they want to embarrass Polo Tuma as long as he will come back to ODM party. Because for them, they thought Otuma had gone. So they started plotting minus Paul Otuma. So they were waiting, they were waiting for, for, for that day. And remember, even after the demonstrations, this was still Paul Otuma talking. Hakuna siku president ameniambia tisijui fanya hii. Mini kienda huko, anasema kama ni hiyo mambo ya busia, hiyo tutasaidiana. So hiyo shida kidogo ulikuwa umesikia, Itakuwa sawa. Hata ile barabara nilikuambia walichoma kidogo lakini naona contractor amerudi. Stadium tu ndio ilianguka yote. Utaenda kuona huko. Hiyo utanisaidia. Eh? Hiyo aliangusha yote. Eh? Very unfortunate but uh, utanisaidia. Lakini sasa tuko sawa. Mheshimiwa Rais. Hiyo tu ndio mimi naomba. Ama iko kitu kingine. Si mnataka namna hiyo? Lakini governor pia acha nikuambie ukweli. Hii maneno umeomba rais yote ni mzuri na mimi nitaunga mkono lakini moja nitakuwa na shida hata kama rais overrule me i'll have a difficulty 
kama rais atasema ndio okay i have to accept because he is the boss and you don't argue with your boss but with a heavy heart ati wao wanataka pesa ya kujenga stadium hawa watu walibomoa wenyewe tukupatie pesa ujenge how na wa Kenya wengine tutawaambia nini what do we tell other kenyans waku wana stadium the third reason why polo tuma was heckled is because kenyans across board are actually bitter and angry with kenya kwanza government what about the cost of living hi what about the taxes so kenyans are walking in the streets but they are very bitter in fact this is a country where only a small trigger can lead to a revolution so the ground is really hostile to Kenya Kwanza and anybody who is sympathetic to Kenya Kwanza it's just one year we've just ended one year so this is the second year and the ground is this hostile to an extent that a governor could not manage to even buy the people because he really spent money to try and cool things down you can't say that probably someone organized this heckling because it, in politics it normally happens that would have been possible if it happened in one point but this across board teso it happened in uh, teso malaba and other places this guy is visited so polo tuma must really figure out how he's going to make a comeback just like Raila Odinga tried to plead with the, with the with the with the people to allow him to talk to the governor number four. I think it has to do also with Bosia 2027 politics. Remember this was an ODM event. So the moment Polo Tuma started working with Ruto, there are people who started plotting to take over from him within ODM party. So these guys must must, must have uh, really played some roles in giving him hard time. Because you know normally when an opponent comes then he, he tries to counter you even on the ground or everywhere I'm looking at that because someone was telling me based on numbers the number of lawyers in Bosia the number of Teso the number of lawyers that lawyers are the majority then there's the Teso then there's the Luo and of course the other tribes that for Utuma he decided to fight the Teso he decided to fight the lawyers and of course even the lawyers who voted for him in ODM party he should change those who really campaigned for him within ODM party so unless a miracle is going to happen polo tuma is going to find it very rough and lastly <laughs> i'm told there's a group in bosia called jobless so it's a very big group this is the group that really gave him hard time that during campaigns they really campaigned for him when these guys were demonstrating he really targeted them and that at some point he promised to buy them a bus which he bought but he only paid the deposit not the rest so these guys have been waiting for him and they found the opportunity let me ask you this question if you are polo toma what would you do in this situation do you stick with odm do you try to mend fences with odm or do you jump ship to another political party until next time this is lee mcqueen bye bye